This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Massive thanks to EA for flying me out to Berlin to attend the FIFA 19 Global Capture event. Enjoy the video, guys. Today's video is going to be a super squad here on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. So uh, yesterday I showed you guys some gameplay, some pack related stuff and also some info and stats and player faces on some of the icons uh, and I actually wanted to do like a squad builder for you because that's sort of like what I'm known for a lot on YouTube and stuff um, and so I actually recorded a whole bunch of different types of squad builders whilst I was at the capture event. Today is going to be a super team uh, featuring some icons and some also some normal gold cards uh, but don't you worry I've got like full icon squad builders as well uh, and then we've also got the other end of the spectrum so uh, knowing that you guys are going to be coming into the game in the next week or so uh, without that many coins or lo not loads of FIFA points and stuff I've also got some cheap budget starter squads as well so don't worry I'll be uploading a little bit of everything over the next week so do me a favor hit that thumbs up button on today's video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here Let's get into the squad. Oh, I need to just preface this by, by saying that I forgot to record the squad builder part for this particular squad. I think this is the only one I messed up on. So I needed to do a little bit of like Photoshop building in the squad. Like apologies for that. I will do my normal style of squad builder next time. So I'll put the goalkeeper and defense in here. And as you can see, yeah, there's like chemistry lines everywhere and the colors don't quite match because uh, I forgot to record video for this. So it's like a Photoshop mock-up of, of our actual squad builder. Uh, but we start in goal today with the 89 rated Ter Stegen. Massive, massive upgrades there for the German uh, who plays his football for Barcelona. And he was a very good goalkeeper. Uh, I feel like FIFA 19 Ultimate Team, there's less goals scored overall. I had a couple of games where we... Where you know there were lots and lots of goals but overall keepers seem to save quite a lot you know go, running through on goal uh, I feel like the goalkeepers had a bit of an advantage and stuff so that's obviously quite a positive thing my fullbacks then I went super meta or what would have been meta anyway on FIFA 18 uh, and it seems as though it's going to be very similar again so Alexandro 86 rated yeah he's got great stats and then we have Kyle Walker once again another player that's got very very good stats uh, and then I've gone for two icons in the middle. Now, I've got to say, I think it was uh, Berezi that I got sent off in one of my games uh, and then replaced him for the next one with Hierro and actually kind of left Hierro in there for a few games as well. So, um, it's basically... Cannavaro, Beresi, or Hierro uh, as the centre backs. It doesn't really matter. They link to everyone, of course. Uh, but I did want to try out the two Italians, uh, and then what I'll say about Hierro, I'll get to when we when we look at the clips a little bit later. Uh, but Beresi, you can see his in-game stats. You can see Cannavaro's in-game stats at some point as well. Uh, both are a little bit shorter. Uh, Cannavaro is actually very quick, and I would say the better of the two. I really did like him, and I do think a lot of people are going to use him on the game. So stepping up to the three in the center of midfield then, I thought it would be about right for me to put these three Englishmen in, right? There's been a lot of chat on Twitter uh, about who's better. Is it Skulls? Is it Gerrard? Is it Lampard? And of course that leads to that that very long debate as a who had a better career, blah, 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 blah. I don't really want to focus on that today, but of course I will show you like the in-game stats and like the player faces of of a couple of these guys and you can see Skulls' in-game stats as well. Uh, and then there there are a few clips that I've got with these players, you know, a couple of goals scored between each of them and stuff. Um, what I will say is that Skulls was the one that was scoring me all of the goals. So we got goals from Skulls. Uh, Lampard was quite creative and he would be like my free kick taker and stuff. Uh, scored a nice long shot too. And then we also had Steven Gerrard who seemed to be everywhere. I really did like the prime Gerrard. Uh, In-game stats wise, we've got... Uh, I did find it quite funny, I'm not going to lie, apologies Liverpool fans, but to see that the only stat in orange there is his balance, it, I mean it just leads to the memes doesn't it, it really does, <laughs> but he was, I would say out of the three he was the one that I was most looking forward to getting my hands on when I, when I actually owned the game and stuff because I felt like he was very very aggressive, defensive wise pretty solid and then obviously you've got a, a cracking long shot on a player like Stevie G, um, but it was interesting to use the three Englishmen across my midfield in this 4-3-2-1. And then we move it up to the front three and I decided to go with two PSG players and then one of the best icons on the game. So we've got Neymar and we've got Mbappe. So two players there which have got five star skill moves. That's right, Mbappe's been brought up to that level. He's, he's now an 87 rated. Now, 
Don't forget, a couple of FIFAs ago, this guy was like a non-rare silver. That's quite the transformation into one of the world's best players. Uh, and he is now 87 overall with five-star skill moves. Uh, I can do a player review on him from some of the clips that I was able to get, some of which will feature in this video as well. But let me know if you want to know more in depth about someone like Mbappe. Uh, Neymar with the five-star, five-star as well. And then, of course, we have Johan Cruyff, 94 rated Cruyff Prime. Oh, just got some brilliant stats. I um, uh, just hope and pray that I can get my hands on him on the full game at some point because it was, you know, five-star skill, five-star weak foot is, is something to behold when you've got stats like he has. Uh, 93 long shots, the volleys at 94 as well. Good stamina, great dribbling like, oh my God, uh, I, I pretty much fell in love with Johan Cruyff in game. He was that good. So... That right there is the overall 4-3-2-1 squad builder. Um, yeah, like I said, apologies that I sort of messed the graphics up a little bit and kind of had to do this manually rather than through video form like I would normally do. But we can now shift over and take a look at some of the, uh, the clips that I was able to get with the team. So being a capture event, uh, you don't necessarily get to play as many games as you want because, you know, you're at the mercy of other content creators and who's free to play a game. And then when you get to play them, well, they're, sometimes they're pretty good uh, and you don't ne get necessarily get to score as many goals as you would like. Uh, so what I've got here is some of the goals that I got with the team. I'm holding a few of them back for like player reviews for Cruyff and Mbappe and stuff. Uh, and then just some of the other stuff that went on during the game. Now that right there was a beautiful long shot from Frank Lampard and was actually like the first shot I took with him. So I was instantly impressed with Super Frank uh, right off the bat. And then I don't know if he actually scored again. Uh, but the way these clips are going to work, normally I, I batch them up. So like you'll see all the Mbappe stuff at once or all of the Cruyff stuff at once. Uh, it, it's not working quite like that for us today uh, because I played like four or five games with the team. So what I've got is like the highlights from those games. Um, the, they were all against Kazooie actually. I was actually lucky enough to, that Kazooie was busy playing with squads as well so we could get a, f a few games in um, but I don't want to necessarily show you all of the goals that he scored because I'm sure he'll want to use them for his channel and stuff um, but yeah we were we were playing some good some good football I scored that lovely volley there with with Neymar it seems that volleys now I know a lot of you have been commenting that volleys seem overpowered I myself I really enjoy them I, I like that sort of fun element and aspect to the game I think it's going to make the game look really good uh, and it, I don't know everyone loves to score a bang in volley right whether or not they are slightly OP potentially uh, I would agree with that as well uh, there's there's room for them to be scaled down a little bit in my opinion uh, do I want them to be scaled down hell no I don't because I want to be scoring them all the time but yes I can definitely see a reason that yeah that they could they could be uh could be seen as a little bit OP maybe but you know we score all different types of goals and, and actually you may have seen some of these clips from the game uh, I, I actually put like a full gameplay up so if you are still uh, after watching this video a little bit hungry for some uh, some just like raw gameplay that you want to watch then go ahead and click in the card in the top right corner or back on my channel uh, and then this particular game right here I know you're seeing my goals right now but if you want to watch the full game of that no commentary no me talking over the top and stuff and you get to listen to the game listen to how it how the commentary goes on that and stuff uh, and then all of the you know the shots that I miss the shots that we score uh, the shots that Alex takes and stuff and all the skill moves that he does because of course he's a very skillful FIFA player then yeah make sure you check my channel for that as well as other content that's been going up uh, across the board uh, from all of your favorite content creators and stuff uh, and if you would smash like on today's video that would be greatly appreciated we're trying to get these videos to, to be seen by people so the more traction on this video that you guys can help spread then the better it is. Uh, I, I wish that free kick with Frank Lampard went in. I would have been running around the capture event room celebrating, but I don't think I put it quite far enough in the corner, as you can see from the replay here. Uh, and it is, of course, a great dive and a great save from, uh, I believe, Edwin van der Sar, probably Prime as well, knowing, knowing Kazooie, he would have been using the best version of him. Um, one area of the game which does still seem a little bit overpowered, and I feel like we had this issue last year, was uh, near post corner. I just scored a header with Paul Scholes. Now, I don't feel like that should happen necessarily. Uh, I, I understand that if Cristiano Ronaldo's at the front post, then maybe you would expect that to go in a little bit more. But 
uh, yeah, there may be a slight overpoweredness in the in the front post corner action, which is not something we're you know it's something that we're very used to. Of course, you know that's pretty much the corner meta this year on FIFA 18. So I would hope that that gets somewhat addressed throughout the game. You know, we all want to be able to score corners, and, and teams do score from set pieces and stuff. Uh, but it seemed that if you if you nodded it towards a front post, that you had a lot higher of a chance of that ball going in the back of the net. Whether it's like defensive positioning or like goal keeper inability at that point in time I don't know um but yeah like could could just be a little bit overpowered uh so there's there's some clips here which don't necessarily go in the back of the net some clips are longer than than others if I get some nice passing going that was a particularly nice goal from Steven Gerrard right there and one of the new celebrations I'm showing off for you I love that one look at those look at those four awesome teammates right there icons and gold players and popular OP players all of them just linking up together and getting in a good squad uh so this was actually a goal I scored with Hierro at the back post I had nothing to do with that that was literally an auto tap in uh, and that happens on FIFA 18 as well of course but yeah this is when I, I brought Hierro in once I got Barese sent off and I either forgot to put him back in or I was so impressed with him that in the first game uh, I decided to just keep him because he's he's like an he's similar to Barese he's someone that's been in FUP before uh, but is is coming back to the game with you know different stats and different versions and stuff and to be fair the hero was a monster I actually really enjoyed him um, so we're gonna wrap things up here in the next few clips this is a an easy little finish from. Johan Cruyff you'll see that the the actual my triangle above my head went white which means I hit my shot late which means it didn't actually count as like a timed shot or anything the volley that I'm about to miss here with Lampard I didn't time it at all maybe if I had and I would have hit a green timed perfectly shot then that would have gone into the back of the net you never know uh, it did look like a oh, I, I pretty much hit an early one there oh my god what a calamity uh, two two uh, shots off the woodwork and then a great save from his goalkeeper but but this is the final goal, a lovely one from Mbappe. If you did enjoy the video, guys, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Like I said, the more traction we can get on these, the better. Let me know in the comments section what you think of the team, what you think of the goals, anything that you're excited about or worried about for FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.